Did you hear this rumor, and obviously you're Tennessee Titan and uh, Coach Rabel's favorite player from what I've been told. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you hear that Diana Rossini said that when she was down at the Senior Bowl, one GM told her that Vrabel's physical stature in those meetings is kind of scary to some people. And that might be why he didn't get hired as a head coach after getting fired from the Tennessee Titans. Now, obviously, this is an alley-oop for us to go about a thousand different ways mm -hmm. here on the <laughs> fact that a football coach is not getting hired because he's too much of an alpha, he's too big of a dog, he's in too good a shape, right. he's too much of a specimen. Right. That is what football is in its whole. But how do you feel about that? And what are your thoughts on Vrabes not having a job seemingly in 2024 in the NFL? So I, I think Vrabes, he's just enjoying his time right now. I think he's he's probably got a lot of different options. I mean, when you're a, a head coach that gets fired, you got a nice little buyout so you can kind of sit back and weigh what options, kind of pick your right situation. I saw Diana yesterday. I said, hey, Diana, you're kind of going viral on them little bot those little bot news programs out there. <laughs> and she was, uh, she was laughing at us. She's like, yo, she's like, I know, like, they're taking me out of context, yada, yada. But speaking on Mike Vrabel's presence and stature when he walks into a room, that is spot on. I'm talking about the intimidation factor of Mike Vrabel is 10 out of 10. <laughs> but as a football guy, that is exactly what you want in the building. The dude commands respect. I think that that, you know, some of that bullshit that these little bot, uh, these little bot Twitters out there have, like, they just report reports. They make up shit. They say breaking like it's the most insane thing going on right now. And I think it was taken out of context. I hate it because huh? I know Vrabe, he'll, he'll be hitting the jewel and he'll be scrolling and he'll see it and he'll get a little, hey, what's going on here? So I think it was a little out of context. Yeah, hitting the jewel, chewing a gin, right. in, also with some coke, taking a Marlboro, right. chugging a beer. Like, uh, he is everything that is like old school dude football guy yeah. like he's everything you would want and a phenomenal football coach we listened to the clip that diana rossini said it she certainly kind of laid it out as a gm saying that that is potentially one of the reasons not necessarily the reason and back to your point about these aggregator accounts buddy they've thrown us into like six wars right now just taking our stuff and throwing us in it's, it's not good it's, it's good crazy it's good the amount of people that are in like fans of the NFL and passionate want to cover it. But man, there's some real narratives being built that just aren't real at all happening in our world in real time, Will. Yes, and then they, they just, because you're, you're right, it's like they do, like, they cover stuff that you're kind of like, okay, it's good to see this right now, I guess they got it first, yada, yada, whatever it is, or they're just reporting a report. But there's times where you're just like, you're literally doing this just to, what do they call it, farm engagement? Um, but I think, I think it's insane because they're just... I, I don't know. Now, you saying that Diana actually said that, I feel like that's a little bit of a different story. As a, as a bad brain that follows the internet, sometimes I just see the bot post and I just get a little triggered myself. Yeah. But if she's quoted saying that, Diana, she's got to, you got to, you got to learn to pick your words wisely, especially when you know Coach Braves is out there. He's looking, he's watching. Yeah. He's, I mean, I, that's hilarious to think of him just, oh, is that right? Is that right? Is that, all right. Is, is, that, is, that, is that what it is? is that, and we're seeing the context and how you deliver the words matter. That's why whenever it's just typed up, it can be different. I don't think she was saying it as a matter of fact, more so as that she heard it could be a possibility. Nonetheless, that should not be a possibility mm, in yeah. the NFL whenever we're talking about right. winning some damn game. Another guy that just wins no matter what is without a job in the NFL. You know why? Why's that? that? Potentially because he's too big of a dog. What? Oh my god! Too too big of a dog. Like inside of him or physically stature? No, oh. just physical. No, I think also what's in what's inside the grid you know, of that it. absolute monster strapping lad from Ohio, Mike Vrabel. There was a podcast that was done for the Athletic, I believe, and this has been a pretty heavy The Athletic show. Yeah. Shout out to the journalism taking place yeah. over there. Diana Rossini was speaking on a podcast where she said down at the Senior Bowl, she caught up with an anonymous GM, did not give the name, that said, you know, I've been in these rooms before. There's a chance and maybe Vrabe's just too fucking big oh, yeah, no. to be a head coach in the NFL. Here's the clip. What's your sense of why like, Vrabel doesn't have a head coaching job right now? I don't think that there was a fit for him. I don't think he sat in front of any owner who thought that his style was going to work for what they were looking for. Do you know I had a GM at the Senior Bowl who mentioned to me Vrabel's physical build, that he's a very large human being and can be very intimidating hmm. to, to people in an organization that are going to be part of these decisions. 
And that is a factor, which I laughed. I said, stop. That, that's not something that's real. Who cares what someone physically looks Good like? Thank you. And he said, I'm just telling you, I've been, I've been in rooms. And, and somebody's physical presence can make a difference. See, what size, is your sense of why like see the size of that fucking guy? Break. Huge. You see this? Oh. You see the size of that guy? Mm-hmm. You want to talk to him? Are we going to disagree on like trading our number one wide receiver on draft night? Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to have this discussion with I that don't guy? Think you do. How many zins did he have in his mouth when he walked in here? <laughs> Eight. He had two of those zin pins in his mouth. Yeah. Hit a vape. Look how fucking big he is. Is that who we want to be our head coach of football? What are we talking about, AJ? Who's this anonymous GM? How do we smack him in the mouth? Yeah. And how do we say what? are we doing that this is even a part of the conversation for why Mike Vrabel wasn't a fit anywhere. Now, we respect and appreciate Diana Rossini. She's obviously plugged in, tapped in, has done great reporting football for a very, very long time. She's just reiterating what she was told by somebody who's a decision-making and has been in this room before, but that's absurd. That's ridiculous. And if that's the reason why Vrabel didn't get a head coaching job, I'm disappointed. I'm bummed out. Bummed out. I'm bummed out, but that's where the NFL yeah, I'm is. Out. I'm bummed out. I'll tell you what. I, I give Diana I'm, – I'm glad Diana pushed back and said, stop, stop. That's not real. And the guy doubles down and continues to say this. Don't put that guy's name out because that guy should be fired. If you're saying this guy's too tall. <laughs> yeah. He walked in our room and he's too tall. Real tall. And his, he was actually a confident human and had a plan. So we don't. We feel weird hiring him like that. How did Dan Campbell get a job? How does that, that, how does that big guy get a job? That's I don't what get they're it. saying about Sheila Ford Hamp, is that Sheila Ford Hamp is a fucking dog. Hell she, yeah. she looked at MCDC and said, <laughs> yep, yeah, I want that guy and in Brad my Holmes. building hey, now. And, Brad Spielman. and Chris Spielman. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Spielman's a yeah. big guy. Too. She, Sheila Ford Hamp's like, yeah, I want some fucking dogs in here. Yeah. Yeah. What, are, what are we talking about? Great day. So he's supposed to walk in there deflated in lack of yeah. confidence with no presence? That's who you want leading? Bad posture. Just of- sit there and slump down and, not, and tell him you don't know what you're doing? You, no zins? What are we talking how about? Booze, how boozed up was that GM? Oh, just talking yeah, shit. Yeah, right. Was. Yeah, just make uh, he can't draw. He's too fucking big. You see that? You see you guy? Guy's fucking All big. these big guys think they're so cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to make that pick, fucking <laughs> big dumbass. Okay? Jeez. What are we talking about? We got to get another size chair at the table? I don't think so. You going to punch me because I disagree with you, big man? No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Diane, does he have a job? He does it. Just like I fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. Probably correct. You know how Pete Carroll said that these are non-football people making these decisions? Maybe this is uh, small dog people making these decisions, that they, they're mm. not big well, dog people. Okay, so I don't want to go deeper into this whole thing, but let's. Lombo was like, everybody wants to do a collaborative effort. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to be, oh, let's do a collaborative effort, collaborative effort, collaborative effort. And Lombo is like, hate to break to you. You're going to need somebody mm-hmm. that is going to guide a ship. It might be the modern era of thinking that maybe Mike Vrabel won't listen to outside opinions because he's so fucking big. True. Which is, I believe, sizest. Uh, I think there is <laughs> yeah, some cool. sort of ism that is yeah. taking place here that I don't like. Yeah. Nope. Not one bit, especially for our friend Vrabel. But this, this can't be how the world operates, especially the NFL, when we're talking about a meritocracy. AJ. It's yeah, and I'm glad we played that, and we, Diana did push back and do all that. Like mm-hmm. that's not Diana's fault. No, no, not at all. No, no. She she did the right thing by saying stop. You're joking. This isn't real. Like you got to be kidding me. And the fact that they continue to say that, man, I'm just curious who that might be, and if that person was even 50 percent serious with that comment. And if we can figure out who it is, bet against that team. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah. small, yeah. small teams. Is that why? Is that why Bill? Is that why Belichick is not? Oh, because he's fucking he's barrel trying. chest. Oh yeah, because that video. That it's all ring barrel camera chest. screwed him. Too, too yeah, intimidating. He's so he's so fucking sorry. Strapped, this, this Drake's guy. never gonna get. A I was job. gonna say that's why people are very intimidated by Drake whenever he walks into a room. Oh, yeah, well, that, not about the size of his Drake. body. AJ, what are you, oh boy? What do you mean? Pieces. AJ, that dude is slapping that thing around, huh? <laughs> yep. I don't like it. <laughs> what he's a victim right now. I don't like it. How did he get out? How did he get out? He deserves privacy just like anybody else. But guy was wrestling an anaconda. What do you mean? How did it get out? The guy's got a fucking baby elephant trunk in between his legs, and he was fucking swinging it around. We learned a lot. We learned a lot about him on the internet this morning while we were getting ready for the show. Obviously, we like to keep track of internet trends, and Drizzy, Drake, and Wow were all trending at yep. one time. His and popularity soared today. Yeah, he almost took off from his bed like a helicopter. <laughs> well, he actually was uh, spinning like a dreidel at one point. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's... Certainly a world we live in times, but I don't like the Vrabels getting judged. <laughs> you think going forward he has to go to all of his interviews in like a wheelchair? Here's the deal, Vrabels. Here's the deal, Vrabels. Yeah. 
Get the Ozempic. Yep. There it is. Lose half a body. You want to get back into head coaching? Yep. You need to stop being so, so physically imposing. Mm-hmm. Stat. Or do you not want a job? He told the bus with the boys he cut off his penis for another Super Bowl. All right. mm-hmm. Would he cut off half his body? Because that's what he needs. You prove it to us, pal. Whether you want it or not, Do you love football? that's on you, Vrabes. And, A.J., I know you'll talk to him much sooner than I will. We would like an answer from him on whether or not he's willing to maybe stop working well, out. Yeah. Stop taking care of himself. Right. Yeah. Maybe stop standing with his chest out like he's confident in something that he's accomplished. Maybe don't speak at all. Ooh. Don't have any words to say. Just keep it down. Shut your mouth. Lose some weight. Lose some muscle. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be a head coach in the NFL. Yeah. So I would like to get an answer from him. 